Hey guys, today I just wanted to show you guys a bracelet that I made and if you want to know how I made it, stay tuned until after I stop babbling and I will show you how to make it. And it's really easy. This is the bracelet. Let me take it off so you guys can see it. I will insert a photo of it so you guys can see it better, but it's basically three different chains, three different colors, and then the ends kind of close like a Tiffany bracelet like that. And it's really easy to make. I will show you guys how to do it. Okay, so let's just jump right in. The first thing you're going to need are these um, needle-nosed pliers. Um, you can just get these at your local hardware store or like if you have a Home Depot or something. I have, this is an old one that I have and it's not a needle nose, but it works too. And I actually need both of these because some of the pieces are too hard. So you need both of those. And then um, the next thing you need are these chains. And I just, you can do whatever colors you want. You can do the same colors if you want, but I just got three different colors and you can get these in a package also. Um, the first color I have is this rose gold bronzy color. And then I have a gold one right here. And then I have a silver one. And I just think it looks really cute together. So that's why I chose these colors. And then you're going to need um, these right here, like the clasps. Um, you can just get whatever clasp you want to close your um, bracelet with. But I just got these because I really like these kinds of bracelets. I think they're so cute. And you get these in packs of like... I think there's like five in them at um, your local craft store and it comes in a package. And then um, you're going to need some jumper rings and they look like, the, jumper rings are basically um, rings that have like an opening where you can open it right there. If you can see that little, um, that little slit right there, you can open it and get the pack with the varieties with different sizes because you're gonna need the smaller ones. And then, so that's all you're going to need. And the first thing we're going to do is measure your wrist. So take one of the chains and then go around your wrist like this. And you want to do it so that um, when you measure it, you want to leave some space for your clasp as well as the jumper rings. But you don't want it too loose or too tight. Okay, so I have really small wrists, and you guys are going to laugh at me, but you're just going to measure it like this, and mine is only that big. Yes, I know. So then what you're going to do is um, take that next chain after the one where it stops. Take that next one, and there will always be a little opening kind of that's, um, you know, of course it's shut. But you're going to take your two um, pliers, one on each side of the um, of the opening, and then you're just going to twist it like so and it opens up really easily with these pliers actually so you just open it like that and it comes out very easily so then you take that off that's your side and then the rest you just store it away and then after this it's very easy so then you have that I know again don't make fun of me and then you're going to take this and measure your three other ones or however many you have you can do it this any way you want but this is just how I do it. I'm going to measure next to the next one and then down to where it is. And then again onto the next chain. Like, okay, see how this stops here? You're going to take that next chain that you're not using. And, and again, we're going to take our two pliers right here. One on this side of that. I don't know if you can see that. And then one on the other side, just like this. And then we're going to open it. You kind of want to um, remeasure it with that first one just so that you know that it's the same size, kind of. So yeah, it's the same. After you have all of your chains measured and cut out, you're going to take one of your jumper rings and just a medium-sized one. Depending on how many you have in your um, set, you want to fit all of them in. So then we're just going to take this. These are actually a lot... Um, flimsier I guess than those chains so I'm just going to take my finger on one side and then the um, plier on the other side and I'm just gonna open it like that and then we're gonna take these one by one and slide them in in whatever order it doesn't matter then just slide it in like that and then this one in After you put in all of your chains right here, still leave it open because you have one last thing to put in and that is the one end of your clasp, how, whatever kind of clasp you're putting in. Okay, so then you just close it. Just 
just like that. So now we have one end and then I'm going to put on the other side and I'll be right back. So that is all. I am finished and that is the finished product. Of course, I will insert a photo of how this looks in real life because my camera just sucks. I'm really sorry. And I hope the quality on this doesn't stink and you can see what I'm doing. And the name of this bracelet is Yank My Chains. Isn't that just a cute name? Um, I don't know. I really like that name. So... That's the name of this bracelet. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys tried it out and let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! I hope this old train breaks down Then I could take a walk around 